Here go five things I learned about inviting your white friends to shoot at the gun range with you. Five. Hate to say I agree with them, but... Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC, PAN Firearms via NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And let's talk about this. I stumbled across this and I want to think I was on Facebook and I saw this and you know, it, it, it's titled Five Things I Learned at the Gun Range. And I was like, okay, clicked on it, and boy, this guy had me rolling, rolling. His, 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 uh, his name is Josh Prey, he's got his own YouTube channel, Josh Prey, you should go check him out, because I looked at other videos that he have up here, and you know, he's a comedian, so, yeah, it, but this one right here, hey, call me what you want, I can't help but go, damn, he's got a, he's got a point, but let's watch this. Because this is hysterical. Okay, hey, put it up here. All right. So I invited some of my white homeboys to the gun range with me, thinking I'm finna show them some things. And then they came. And then I learned five things. He go five things I learned about inviting your white friends to shoot at the gun range with you. Five. Number one, your white friends ain't gonna bring one gun. They gonna bring one guns with a Z. Guns. This is a 9mm sky pistol. Now listen, this is a great gun range gun. It shows like five, six bullets. It ain't designed to really kill nobody. It's designed to stop your enemy. They looked at my gun and laughed and was like, bro, that's all you brought to the gun range? They pulled out AR-15s. They pulled out ak 47s They pulled out the entire alphabet. I thought I was at a driving test like, um, I, E, um, I think that's an army tank. But you bring a gun. <laughs> That's an army tank. Oh man, I don't know. I, I I tend to go to range with several guns, but okay. Cause in here, like the world in the end, like when I go back outside, it ain't gonna be no more earth out there. We gonna walk out there and I'm gonna be like, bro, was flat earth real? Where did everything go? We are standing on the edge of tomorrow, literally. If you are planning on going to the gun range with your white friends, bring guns, buy guns, borrow guns, because they are going to have guns. With a Z at the end, guns. Number two, I learned that the gun burst, pow, don't make them jump. If you a gun person, then you know what a Ruger do. A Ruger, when you squeeze it, it feel like the whole earth is shaking. But I gotta be the only person in the world that, yeah, ever, nah, they can hear every single thing outside. They can hear birds chirp, they can hear the earth grow, they can hear grass get long. I legit put the gun right beside Kevin Kirby, which was my homeboy, the gun beside his ear. Bam, 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 bam. He took off his earmuff like, you good? You good, bro? Bro, you you clearly are deaf in that ear. I heard you, dog. I ain't deaf in this ear. You can hear everything but gun sounds. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I'm not going to question it. That's between you and whatever happened in your childhood. Number two, they do not jump. Number three, an hour is never enough time for gunfire for them. Now, the Alamo in Naples, Florida charges you $15 to shoot for a whole hour at that lane. No, hell no. Gosh, no. They don't think an hour is enough. We was at this lane for an hour, and I was like packing up my stuff like, okay, dog, I'm kind of ready to go. Now, nah, here you go, Josh. Go put another 20 on lane three. We finna stay like at least another like three, four more hours. Hope you ain't got nothing to do today. Kirby, we came to the gun range on Tuesday, dog. It's it's Friday, dog. I just, just kind of... <laughs> Oh, man, that one always gets me. <laughs> Tuesday, but today's Friday. Oh, man. Whew. I don't want to go home. Y'all can shoot forever. How? I don't know. My wrists be hurting. I got other things I like to do with my wrists, and you clearly just don't even care. That's why your left arm's so big. That's why your forearm's big, because you be called the chicken wing. Number four, I don't know where they buy their bullets from. I don't know if their bullets are cheaper, but they have an unsurmountable, limitable supply of ammunition. I don't know if their dad is a bullet maker. I don't know if they dream bullets and they appear under their pillows. I don't know what it is. They have bullets. They'll pull the bullets out their pocket. They open in their wallet. Bullets falling out. Taking off their hat. Bullets out here. Putting them into their gun. Opening their mouth. Ah, bullets falling out. Like, 
Where the hell are y'all getting all these bullets from? And who are you going to war with? Because if you finna go to war over there, let me stay over this side. Listen, I'm prepared to protect my home. You got enough bullets to protect my home, your home, homes of people that are unknown. Who are you fighting? And the fifth thing to know before going to shoot with your white friends, your gun better have a name to it. I call my gun a nine millimeter. I call my other gun a Smith & Wesson nine millimeter. Nah. Kevin called his AK Bertha. He called his AR-15 Chucky. I say, Kirby, why do you call it Chucky, dog? I thought he was gonna say something neat like, it's like scary or something. He said, nah, cause when it's fire, it sound like it's saying, um ba la la shimbela, um ba la la shimbela. I've never thought to name a gun. I just called it a gun cause that's what it is, G-U-N, that's fun. It's like, it's a gun, it's a nine millimeter. I didn't know I had to call my, my gun Frederick Douglass or, or Martin Luther King cause it's all black or something like that. I don't. I don't know. If you finna go out, make sure you your gun got a nickname. Because if not, they're going to point you out. They might put the fire on you. You can't get out the lane because you in there for three or four hours. So you can't tell nobody. You can't knock on the door and say, I don't want to be in here. Then he give you that look. You start seeing bullets drops and stuff like that. And then you can't whisper, hey, I need help. Because he clearly can hear that. But he can't hear the, ga the sound of the gunshots firing and stuff like that. You know what? <laughs> okay, you saw that. Like I said, um, some of it, some of it, I, I can't argue. As funny as it is, I can't argue. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that one. Like I said, go check this guy out, Josh Prey. Yeah, Jay, you saw the little clipboard at the end there with his name on it. Funny dude. He's got some plenty of videos up here. But I had to, look, to respond to that one because that was a good one. Oh, man, that was good. All right. Hopefully big things for this guy, because uh, that was funny. But <laughs> what do you think? Is it true or not? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements of lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.